When I was a little girl, I liked to draw. Probably when I was about eight, my mother gave me a, cop, a, a book of James Thurber's cartoons. They had the New Yorkers around the house, but I wasn't really paying attention at that age. And I looked at these drawings and I just loved them, and so I started tracing James Thurber's drawings and was hooked because it made my mother happy, made my father and my mother laugh, and I just started developing my own style that way. I knew when I started doing cartooning back 30 years ago that there weren't many women in the business. And I didn't really care at that point. I just wanted to be a cartoonist and plowed ahead. And then maybe 10 years ago, I started wondering more specifically why there weren't more women. So I was giving a lot of thought to why, and there's a lot of answers as to why, but one thing, and it ties into why I do what I do, is that I felt when I was young that I didn't fit in. I didn't really belong in any group. I was sort of, I wasn't girly, you know, I didn't play the feminine game. I, so I didn't know where I fit in, so I would draw, and it gave me something to do so I didn't look awkward, and it also got me attention, got me acceptance by people. I think a lot of us women struggle with these every decade of our lives from when we're born because we're trying to figure out how to fit in, what we're supposed to wear, how we're supposed to act, and each decade, your 20s, 30s, and 40s, we're all playing this game of how to fit in, either in visually or in behavior. And I wanted to do a book about that, a funny book, to help us laugh at what we're doing, to accept one another, to have more of a camaraderie between the generations. So When Did They Serve the Wine is a book of funny cartoons about our lives and how we have to deal with clothing, with men and dating, with jobs, getting older, finding a career, raising children, you know, all these things. I mean, it's universal. I draw my inspiration from watching our culture and I read the newspaper every morning. We're looking for buzzwords in the culture, things that are being bantered about and political issues, keeping a pulse on what people are thinking about and doing. I hope that readers take away from When Do They Serve the Wine a sense of joy and laughter and understanding of ourselves and how we fit into the culture. At once it's serious, but on the other hand, it's funny. My cartoons tend to be serious and funny at the same time sometimes. I'm not. I'm not a laugh out loud kind of cartoonist, so I try to do stuff that will help people laugh and then go, oh yeah, right, that's, that's true.